Takashi Murakami is a well-known contemporary artist. He's an artist that employs characteristics of both Eastern and Western culture into his work and collaborates with all kinds of companies, people, and places to bring them together. He aims to create ties between various oppositions. Murakami focuses specifically on melding the fine arts and the commercial media in his art with his style super flat. This style incorporates pieces of Eastern and Western, fine and commercial art, fabricating a bridge between opposing sides. Thusly, what has Takashi Murakami done to intertwine all of these different things? How has this affected both types of media, and how has it been received? As a young adult, Murakami studied the traditional Japanese style of painting called Nihonga, even earning his PhD in the field. Afterward, though, he decided that he wanted his art to reflect more on the society that he himself had grown up in, instead of the more traditional society portrayed in Nihonga. One of the greatest influences that Murakami begins incorporating into his style is from otaku culture. Otaku is the word used when describing the people involved with, or fans of, manga and anime, Japanese graphic novels and animations. To many, the art style surrounding the otaku culture is not considered a form of high art. In Murakami's eyes, it is one of the most notable things to come from Japanese history, and therefore, why shouldn't it be seen in galleries along with other art? This is where he first begins finding interest in combining things that are not typically found together. Foreign commercial media, especially Western, are major contributors to Murakami's work. He has collabor collaborated with quite a few companies and celebrities, most notably Louis Vuitton and Kanye West. His work with Louis Vuitton was one of his earliest, beginning in 2003, when he redesigned the logo to a more colorful, super flat style. Much more well-known, though, is his longtime business relationship with music artist Kanye West. Murakami was first introduced to West when the latter approached the artist about his piece Hiropon, one of his more controversial works. The uniqueness of the artist's work intrigued West so much that he has since collaborated with him on multiple album covers and an animated music video. Although he's a widely recognized artist, Murakami is not the most beloved. There are many who find his pieces offensive and believe that they should not be allowed into exhibitions at gallery settings. Arguably, Murakami's largest and most controversial show was one that took place at Versailles in 2011. It had been decided by the artist and the gallery's curators at the time that some of Murakami's more graphic work, such as the aforementioned Hiropon, would not be included due to their not-so-family-friendly nature. However, this did not some stop some people from finding fault in his other work. One Prince Sixtonway de Bourbon Palm, descendant of French King Louis XIV and director of CDV, was very vocal about his distaste for the super-flat art that adorned the historical building. He believed that it violated the harmony of the palace itself, which is a, symboli a symbol of French history and culture. While there was a sizable group of viewers who felt this way, a vast multitude more thought the opposite. Most who came to see the exhibition thought as Murakami did, that the show was a representation of cultures coming together, that the old and the contemporary complemented each other and told a story of history moving forward. To a degree, one can say that all artists aim to reach a broad audience and attempt to include imagery that most cultures can comprehend. However, this is the main goal of artist Takashi Murakami. He molds his artwork to a style that, while it has a Japanese roots, does not conform to any one nation's typical iconography, color palette, or medium. Superflat is an international style meant for international viewers, and one that is meant to travel and grow into any setting it is placed into.